Hey, good morning everyone. Happy Friday. So I think I'm going to start doing some more of these little short live videos, um, hopefully a couple times a week. So I got a question this week in um, my messages about what to do when you feel like there's something wrong with your dog and the vet isn't hearing you or they're brushing it off or they're telling you that everything's fine, but you really just have this gut feeling that something's wrong. You've got to advocate, and I think as healthcare professionals, and I try, I'm sure I've done this, and I try not to, you get very used to seeing the same things over and over again, and it's very easy, or it can become very easy for us to brush things off and miss that something is actually different in this case. So you need to advocate, you need to trust in your belief systems, um, and I think this really goes for our dogs because we can't feel what they're feeling exactly, but we can listen to what they're telling us and really advocate for them. And we have to because they don't have a voice like we do or like I do speaking to you right now. Um, whether it's sticking with the same vet, going to a different vet to find a second opinion, and I know that can be very challenging right now when there is a significant vet shortage or the vets that people really click with are the vets that you can't actually often get into right now because they aren't taking new patients because they are just too full. And God bless them, we all have our limits, so good on them for deciding when they can't take any more so that they can still provide that level of care. But then also considering that there are other people out there that might be able to help you in different ways. So whether that be a chiropractor, um, a holistic vet that maybe does acupuncture or does Chinese herbs or just looks at things from a different point of view or someone like myself that's a canine rehab therapist that I am going to look at things much differently from a vet who is going to look more at the medical side of things oftentimes um, versus me that's going to look at something that's more musculoskeletal and I don't want to pat myself on the back but I haven't been jaded with a lot of the things that vets have seen over and over again over the years so I may look at it may look at it from a, a different point of view so it can happen you can know something is wrong with your dog and then feel like you're not being heard but you've got to keep getting louder um, sticking to your beliefs doing your research too because there can be that other side of the coin where you really feel something's wrong and nothing is wrong um, but trusting your gut, especially when you're seeing actual signs and symptoms, figuring out the reason for it. And I've gone through that with my own health, um, with our healthcare system here in Canada, where basically you've got one route. And if that one doctor that you get referred to can't figure it out, it's not like you can really go and see another doctor of that specialty. So um, in my case, I ended up going the route of a naturopath. So that might be that going to the holistic vet for you. So some food for thought this morning. Have you ever felt like you weren't heard by your vet or healthcare provider, etc.? Let me know in the comments because I know you're not alone. Cheers, guys. Happy Friday and have an awesome weekend.